Hello and welcome to the fourth and final part of the WRC Rallycross Championship on PlayStation 2. Quick recap of the previous four races. Went quite well for me. I got two wins, a second, despite that miserable race in Argentina, which was won by Petter Solberg. And the race where I took second in Finland it was a close run thing at the end between me and Sebastian Loeb, despite Armin Schwarz's dirty, dirty driving. Not just in Finland, but in Wales as well. Must admit I was dishing out some of that myself in Wales. I did completely cream lobe into the concrete bridge. But this is the way Rallycross works. Championship standings, Loeb still leads. He's on 34 points. But my haul from the past three races has moved me up to 29 points. Solberg's had a bit of a difficult one. He's had a couple of lasts and a third and a win in Argentina. He now sits third in the championship on 24, and Armin Schwarz is on 19 points. So, it basically goes down in fives. Nice bit of sequencing. On to Japan, and the Satsunai stage. I think we've had that one already, the Did You Know? As we watch the car drift around the disc graphic on the left, here we go. Rally Japan. And steering right already are Schwarz and Loeb. And Solberg going the other way. Oh, it seems to be him starting from pole position. Goes straight from tarmac onto gravel. Oh, a bit slow going through there was Loeb. Over this wooden bridge. Oh, it's not going well. Back onto tarmac. Wondering where Loeb was. Okay, there's a roundabout here. And taking the inside. Loeb went for the outside, and that's cost him badly. Nice bit of scenery in Japan. I really would like to go there one day. As we go onto gravel very briefly. Back end's trying to step out. Tarmac, gravel, bridge. Lumpy bridge. Gravel, tarmac. Swing it round to the right. There's nice grip through there, despite gravel tyres. Very fast rally, this one. And this tends to be one I go well at in this game. And what on earth was Schwarz doing there? It's completely messed up that corner. It's Solberg who leads from myself, Gronholm. Loeb in third. Schwarz in last. As we go over the wooden bridge, and to tarmac the back end suddenly stepping out, but I managed to see to that one. Cherry blossom trees on the right. Solberg goes for the shorter route, which is the correct route. I also go for the shorter route, and the other two appear that, as if they haven't. Interesting. Probably didn't need to downshift there. Bit of gravel now and understeers, but if you turn, it suddenly goes into oversteer. Oh, I'm getting the inside of Solberg. Oh, this is dangerous. Oh, I've had to back out of that one. <laughs> Around this long left into the Satsunai village, I presume. Side by side as we start the final lap, Solberg trying to shut the door on me. I'm not having any of that. Sliding into the junction, and Solberg undercuts me back on the inside. Lovely battle this is. I'm enjoying this. As we go over the bridge, Solberg breaks suddenly. I didn't think he needed to. I think he might be playing a few games. Rocks on the outside. Oh, I've got that bit wrong as we go through the shrine. And some conifers. Cherry Blossoms once again, and more bridges. Didn't need to downshift in there again. Gravel sideways a little bit. Going go side by side over the bridge, I don't think so. And sideways under braking, trying to Scandinavian flick it. And I do the same thing, just now side by side through this bit. I'm not backing off this time! <laughs> oh, what a battle this is! He's leaning on me. 
into the final corner we go. Oh, I've gone way too quick. No, no. Reverse over the finish line. No, <laughs> come on. That is unfair. <laughs> Bloody hell. Solberg won that one. And Loeb was third. Schwarz was second somehow. And... Oh, that was such a good battle, that. That's annoying. So now me and Solberg are equal on points, but he's ahead because he has got more wins than me. These next two ones should favour me, though, because they're on tarmac. Championship's still close. As we go on to Ampazza in Corsica. Very short one, this one, but it's still going to be three laps. But did you know that gears are set to default as semi-automatic, which means you can manually shift gears using the L1 and R1, or equivalent, buttons if the automatic selection isn't what you want. I prefer the full manual. So here we go, Ampatsa, all tarmac, and it's go. Short gearing for this one. Oof, clattering the wall. Now then, onto the roundabout. Very tight roundabout this, and the extreme inside line worked quite well for me. But a bit of understeer there. Steep uphill section through the tiny village of Ampatsa. And that's a short lap completed. 30.03 seconds. Me and Solberg battling for the lead. Once again, he hits the inside wall. Now am I going to do what about it? Oh! <laughs> now there's a track split here. I think I'm going to take the inside line for this. And that is obviously the one to go for, because I'm now in the lead. Solberg's right up, me, right up my six. I'm defending the inside line, and that's worked out quite well for me. Now I'm in the lead. Solberg's second. Don't know who's third on fourth. But we'll find out once this race is done. Through the tight section there. Now I'm going to take the outside for this last one. There's Solberg still close behind, but I think it's alright. So we cross the start finish line to take a win. That's very useful for me, that. Solberg obviously comes home second. I could see that because he was right behind me. So I now retake second in the championship for him, and Loeb takes a last. Schwarz was second, or well, third. That makes it interesting in the championship now because me, Loeb, and Solberg are separated by just three points. I'm making sure I've got that right. I have indeed. As we move on to Spain. Right then. It is Loeb still leading the championship, but just a single point separates me and him. I'm in second in the championship. Solberg is third, but he's just two points behind me. Oh, yes. On to San Julia. Or San Julia. That's it. That's how you pronounce that. Oh, two rounds to go. This is anyone's. Wonder if I'm in Schwarz, we'll do something about it. As we go, go, go on the runway of San Julia. Very, very long straight, this. I'm trying to break a bit later than all the others. And Schwarz shoving Loeb wide. That's going to give me a run up the inside of him. I've got Loeb, not Schwarz, but I might have Schwarz now. It's me and Solberg once again for the lead. He chooses there to break. I'm going to try and cut the corner quite a lot. That's worked out okay. There's Loeb and Schwarz having a bit of a bit of a conflab. Oh, that was way too... It's way too late for me, but it's worked out okay. Try and get the inside as we go back onto the runway. I'm trying to bump draft him. 
which doesn't exist on this game. Try the outside. Oh, shunted into by Solberg. That's cost me a lot of time, but I've gained quite a bit of that back on the exit. Ugh, as I give him a love tap through the chicane sequence. Loeb and Schwarz have had a, another tangle together because they're nowhere to be found, so it's between me and Solberg. Oh, nearly creamed into him. Go through the gate, entrance to the airport. Sliding it into the corner once again. That's a lot of corner cutting from me, and I'm in the lead. Right. As Solberg tries to put me into a spin. We're side by side as we start this final lap. This is more exciting stuff. Who's going to break? If I judge it by him, that's where I'm breaking. And that's all right. Solberg trying to sneak up the inside of me there, but I'm not having any of that. Now I just need to hold on. Don't want to cut the corner too much, otherwise you'll lose a lot of grip. Now this is a tricky braking zone. And she was there. That's not bad. Cut the corner once again. And Solberg is a fair distance behind me. I need to change gears though. Cut the corner again. Cut it once more. And there's the chequered flag. And that's another win for me. And another second for Solberg. Once again, it's the tarmac ones, and once again, Loeb finishing last. So that's made things very precarious for him. The one who has led the championship for so long is now back down in what looks like joint second with Solberg. The gap is now four points, but I'm in the championship lead. Loeb and Solberg are tied on second, so they need to win. Solberg, is he ahead on count back? No, I think it is Loeb who's ahead on count back. As we go into the final round of the championship, Kata Tujuta in Australia. Somewhere between the Outback and Perth, I believe, is where the Australian rally is based. The gear ratios I can't do anything about on rallycross mode. I can do that on regular championship mode though. Right, I cannot finish last in this one. So I need to finish third, ideally second, but third I might be able to win the championship. In fact, a third does give me the championship because I have more wins and Loeb is trying to put Schwarz into a spin going through the long first corner. So here we go, Solberg leads Loeb. Schwarz and Gronholm can't stay there. I've got to, I've got to get ahead of them, but this is a very tricky circuit for me. All very open. Schwarz has made a mistake, as has Loeb, as I'm ramming into the fence on the outside. But I'm in third. Okay, this is good. Second, to be absolutely sure, though. That's why I'm all over the back of Loeb. As we go through the long right, I'm up the inside of him. But he's seen to that one round the outside. I felt like I was down on power then. Right, so I'm quite quick coming out of the final corner. I must break before that jump, otherwise I'll be in the in the darkest depths of the outback. If I can just keep Loeb in my sights and then pass him somewhere, then I think I've won the championship. Big slide coming out of there. Fourth gear corner. It's a very weird surface, because it seems quite wide, but the outside you'd not getting a, any purchase from or traction from these from these Michelin tyres. Trying to get the inside of Loeb once again, come through the long right, and once again he resists. Very interesting corner is that one. It is a long lap this. Oh, I didn't breaking didn't go to plan and that's what happens. 
Oh dear. Sh luckily, Schwarz is miles behind. I'm pretty lonely in third. There's Lub ahead of me. We've had a pretty difficult end to the season. Me and Solberg have seemingly come alive. Ugh, that's wide. That is wide. Oh, that's not good. I've reset. Where's Schwarz? There's Schwarz. Must stay ahead of him. Must stay ahead of him. Oh, you twat end! Oh, you dirty bastard. Once again. If that's cost me the championship, I'm going to fume. Ugh, it has cost me the championship. Uh, will it be Loeb or Solberg who wins the championship? I'm just going to absolutely welly it out of this long right now. There's nothing I can do now. It was a mistake for myself, but ultimately it was a dirty Skoda driver who ruined it for me. Oh, into the tree. Bosh. Ah. Well, there we go. Now, is it Loeb or Solberg who has won the championship? Because I choked on the last race. And it is Solberg who wins. So, the winner of the WRC Rally Cross Rally Evolved PlayStation 2 made up championship of mine goes to Petter Solberg by single point. Second in the championship is myself, Marcus Gronholm, and third in the championship, Sebastian Loeb, on 38 points. Gronholm had 39 points, Solberg had 40 points, and Schwarz, dirtiest driver of the championship, finishes last in the championship with 25 points, having not won all season. Well, that's the end of the championship. Stay tuned and see you soon.